Hi everyone, Namaskaram, Vanakkam, welcome to each and everyone to yours, An Academy Neat English channel. This is your magical chemistry guru, HSP Baba. And what is this? Can you see so many arrows are going from here to there, there to there. You won't be able to understand like this. This is your memory chart, mind map of inorganic chemistry, chromate and dichromate. Toughest topic. Even when I was in class 12th, I was not able to remember all these reaction skits. So, number of times you must have heard from these students that it's really very tough to find out inorganic chemistry's reactions, P block and D block. So, this is the solution. This is the first mind map of chromate and dichromate, which I am going to give you. And later on, I will keep on giving memory charts. And if you want the best memory chart skits, join our mind map by HSP. That holds really, it holds a hell of a lot of weightage. 15 sessions are there, and for 15 sessions, you have just to pay 1999 rupees because huge discount is right now going on. Otherwise, its price is 2999. And let me tell you. This is because of your hard work and efforts that I'm going to make such type of mind maps. Let's, let's start. See, and hurry up to join that um, course or syllabus because otherwise the fees will rise. Anyways, let's see. I'm here with this dichromate and chromate memory chart. From where to start? See, kids. We have to start from this point. This is the starting point. Chromite ore in your inorganic chemistry class 12 part 2 chromate dichromate D block. So it's given over there chromite ore. If you heat it and heat it in the presence of excess of air, it will change into sodium dichromate or sodium chromate. That is the point how to learn it. This is chromate, but how will you understand that chromate will form a dichromate? See, kids, let me tell you. You see, I have split this chromite ore into ferrous oxide and Cr2O3. Now it is very easy to learn that this is made up of FeCrO4. You can learn like this 1, 2, 4, 4, 2, 1, 1, 2, 4, 4, 2, 1. Or you can split it to form FeO Cr2O3. Now see. This can oxidize and this can oxidize. Both can oxidize. This will oxidize to ferric oxide, Fe2O3. And this will oxidize in the presence of excess of air to plus 6 oxidation state. And that's why this is having plus 6 oxidation state. But gets, this is having plus 6 oxidation state. This is also having plus 6 oxidation state. And this is also having plus 6 oxidation state. All three are having plus 6 oxidation state. Now, how to find out that you are going to get chromate, not dichromate? It's remember that whenever the medium is basic, in basic medium, always chromate is stable, not the dichromate. See, the medium is basic. That's why sodium carbonate is added. You can add sodium carbonate. You can add potassium carbonate. You know that salt of strong base, weak acid, is going to make the solution to be basic. And whenever the medium is basic, always chromate will be the product. So, chromate of sodium and potassium and even lead, they are yellow in nature, yellow in color. Color means a lot in your chemistry. That's why I made it to be yellow so that it should go directly on your head, hippocampus. Now, kids, if there is medium acidic, it will convert into dichromate. Basic medium, once again, it, it will come back into chromate. Chromate, dichromate, this is the game. So, this is the problem that how to learn that in acidic medium, dichromate is going to form and basic medium, chromate is going to form. This is the thing which I am never able to learn. Secrets. Have heard the name of Hanumanji. Well, this was suffering from jaundice. You know, jaundice is a disease in which we are going to have yellow colored eyes. So Hanumanji said, Hey, but what are you doing? 
you are suffering from this uh, disease, yellow joint is, why don't you take fruits? So Hanumanji has given the wish, the thing that you should take fruits and fruits are acidic kids. So why eating fruits? It has become orange colored and it has grown up. See, it was small chromate and this has grown to become dichromate. This is the point and this is the way how medical chemistry grew is making the things easier. Tough things will become easier. So see, remember, if this is going to pub, pub, you know, alcohol. <laughs> In the pub, there is alcohol and alcohol is being basic. And alcohol, right? that's why drinking alcohol is not good for health. Because it is going to deteriorate the things. So if it is going to have alcohol that is basic medium, it will decrease in size. It will become yellow color chromate. And if it is going to have acidic medium, it will become dichromate. Now kids, this dichromate you can see, or this chromate you can see, they are in plus 6 oxidation state. Chromium's atomic number is 24. If I talk about electronic configuration of configuration of chromium, then I will say 4s1 3d5. Exceptional electronic configuration just to give half filled stability 4s1 3d5. Right? So 3d is having 5 electron and s is having 1 electron. So it has lost all the 5 electrons from d and one electron from S, it's unpaired electrons zero. When zero unpaired electron, then also it is colored. Even though it is not having unpaired electron, then also it's colored. Something is wrong, kids. We have always studied that DD transition because of unpaired electron D block elements are colored, but it is not having any, any unpaired electron, then also colored. So remember that. When any entity, any compound is not having any unpaired electron, then no DD transition will take place. Its color is due to charge transfer spectra. This charge transfer spectra knowledge I will give you in the regular batch or on YT when I am going to teach you in ionic chemistry. Just remember when there is no unpaired electron, then also the entity is looking colored, then this is due to charge transfer spectra. Same here, same here, same here. All these three colors are due to charge transfer spectra, no DD transition. This is the very, very frequently asked question whether I talk for medical examination, IT examination, whatever the examination is over there, board examination is over there. Whenever no unpaired electron is there, no DD transition will take place. This is due to, yes, charge transfer spectra. So three lines, you can see very, very thin lines, three lines are coming at this point just to indicate that they are not having any unpaired electron, but then also they are colored. Now see kids, see to it. This sodium and this chromate, sodium is smaller in size and dichromate, this is dichromate is larger in size, means cation is smaller and ion is larger. Sir, you are a teacher. How could we understand which is smaller? You see alkali metals, that's guitar, periodic cable. I've given you one video, guitar, periodic cable. Lina, hidden Lina nose, Ruvis is in France, hidden Lina nose. Leave hydrogen, lithium, sodium, potassium. So sodium is smaller in size as compared to potassium. So smaller cation, cation is being smaller kids. Small cation. And large anion, how to find out this is large anion because it is made up of number of atoms. Whenever multi-atomic anion is there, that is large. So what you want to prove? See kids, small cation, large anion. That means cation is smaller, anion is larger. Bond is not of equality. And when the bond is not of equality, that bond is unstable. So this unstable will change into stable. So how to find out? See, small cation, large anion. There is large cation plus large anion. This is stable bond. That's why this reaction has taken place. And one more thing, let me tell you. 
this potassium is being large cation and this is being small anion so this was unstable this was unstable both have paired up and displacement reaction they have shown so they have become yes stable now what actually i want to prove in in your ncrt it is written that sodium dichromate is deliquescent in nature this is being deliquescent in nature now what is this deliquescent kids deliquescent means which absorbs moisture from the atmosphere and becomes wet now somebody so just think about some scientists they made one normality solution of sodium dichromate they left it over there and they have gone for tea or coffee when they are coming back the solution has absorbed some water and it has become diluted now it cannot be used for titration because its normality got changed and you are going to find out others normality by formula dilution formula n1 b1 n2 b2 it's already known solutions normality were changed how you are going to find out other solutions normality so cannot be used for can't be used for titration can't be used for titration this is written in your ncert and what i said small cation large anion whenever the bond of unequality is there that salt is going to be more soluble in water so this is highly soluble in water highly soluble in water but kids this is and why their lattice energy is less and hydration energy is more when you are going to understand chemical bonding or if you know if you are having a little bit knowledge of that whenever the bond is unstable then its lattice energy is less and hydration energy will be more solubility will be more and this is the bond of equality lattice energy will be high and hydration energy will be low and this is very very less soluble in water least soluble in water and that's why potassium dichromate is used as primary standard during volumetric titration that is also written in your ncrt and reason right now you got it because it's not delicacent in nature this is not going to absorb much from the atmosphere and that's why its normality should not get changed and this is your yes used in volumetric titration that's why it is used in volumetric titration both are being soa strong oxidizing agent this is also being soa soa means strong oxidizing agent because they all are in maximum oxidation state so they have got positive standard reduction potential value means they have very high affinity to take electron now see kids when this potassium dichromate is treated with h2o2 in acidic medium you will get butterfly structure cro5 peroxide linkage minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 and minus 2 oxidation state once again plus 6 because of peroxide linkage it is highly unstable but once it is going to react with h2o2 in alkaline medium it will form k3cro8 this is being reddish brown in nature and see minus 1 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 here the oxidation state of chromium is not plus 6 this is the case where the oxidation state is plus 5 do remember this is a really fantastic question it's this reaction is not given in your ncrt this is given in jd lee but number of times this question has been asked in your various examination that's why it, it holds a lot of weightage now see kids chromyl chloride test when potassium dichromate is treated with metal chloride and concentrated h2so for 99% metal chloride they are going to give you chromyl chloride test chromyl chloride test what is that this is going to react with metal chloride 
This is going to give you CrO2Cl2, chromyl chloride gas, CrO2Cl2. But remember, whenever you are going to perform this test, the test tube should remain dry. If it is not dry, then this will change into chromic acid, H2CrO4. Now, chromyl chloride is reddish brown gas. And once this is going to react with NaOH, it will convert into sodium chromate solution, yellow solution, colored remember and now this is going to react with lead acetate to give you yellow PPT because all, uh, all chromate and dichromate of sodium potassium, they are soluble in water but if you think about lead chromate, it is not soluble in water, its color is yellow, this is yellow PPT this is yellow solution do remember this is yellow solution this is yellow solution that is orange solution that is orange solution because salts of potassium and carbonate they are soluble in water but lead chromate is insoluble in water all together if you get one color two color three color these three together is known as chromyl chloride test not a single one so kids this is your memory chart for chromate and dichromate conversion. If you liked it, do let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to write down your feelings in the comment section, kids. See, just in 10 to 12 minutes, how much I have explained the chemical bonding, the redox, the physical chemistry and the interconvergence of chromate, dichromate along with whatever is not mentioned in the NCRT that also I have told you because each and everything is really very very important for your examination. So don't forget to write down in the comment section because your comments means a lot to me. These comments are going to provide energy for making further more mind maps. It's one mind map I have given for hydrocarbon and this is another mind map which I have given for inorganic chemistry, chromate, dichromate. I have number of mind maps in my brain. Super fantastic mind maps. These, along with these mind maps, I am going to give you in one course. As I have told you, that is mind map by HSP. Because of those mind maps, you know, Tanishka Yadav, AIR1. If I talk about Mehak Arora, AIR 3, All India Ames, at that time Ames was taking separate examination. Mehak Arora's brother, Swiss Arora, AIR 5 and Chaitanya Mittal, AIR 4, All India in Ames. These are few students, those who got benefited from these memory charts. These ranks, I have told you the best ranks, otherwise number of students are there, those who got government medical seat number of the best ranks it's not possible to take their names because time is short right kids bye to all of you we'll meet you with another fantastic session almighty god may bless you with all happiness and prosperity bye